To prepare to install the cap driver to the machine, remove the hoop brackets and move the pantograph rail to a forward position. The roller on the bottom of the driver will slide along the bottom of the cylinder arm. Align the roller on the driver with the cylinder arm and slide the attachment onto the machine. Slide the driver to meet the pantograph rail. Slip the metal bar of the driver under the pantograph rail. The bolts and washers are above the rail in the next to last slot on each end of the rail. Align the opening on the driver with the raised throat plate. Tighten the Allen bolts to the rail using the 4 mm wrench. The driver may need to be rotated to align the center plate. Grasp the sides of the driver and rotate until the center plate is in the center of the cylinder arm. There is a notch on the frame that corresponds to this plate. To load the frame onto the driver, you will slip it under the latches on each side and at the bottom of the driver. There are slots in the cap frame that correspond to these clips or latches. To get an understanding of how the frame attaches to the driver, I will load an empty frame with no cap. Now let's load the frame with a cap. Rotate the cap to one side, keeping the visor behind the machine head. Rotate the cap to a centered position and slip under the latches. To stitch a cap, switch to cap mode using the cap close key on the keypad. Changing this setting changes the limit switch setting of the machine to be appropriate for the smaller size of the cap frame. If your design exceeds the limits of the cap frame, you will see a limit error message. To avoid getting this message, which will stop the machine during embroidery, always trace the design. To trace, press the home key and choose option number 3. Then press enter to set the design origin. Press the home key again, select option 5 and press the enter key to begin the trace. You must also rotate the design to stitch on a cap. Press the rotate key twice for a rotation of 180 degrees. This display indicates that the machine is properly set to run a cap. The design has been rotated 180 degrees as indicated by the upside down F symbol and the cap icon indicates the machine has been placed in cap operation mode.